Welcome to the 28mm build. My name is Jeff Perryman. As promised, we're going to do a real quick tutorial on how I do my grout. We're going to go from this to this. Stay tuned. So I've gotten lucky. We happen to have a bag of uh, grout sitting around the house um, being used for our tiles uh, in our kitchen and bathrooms and things like that. This is latex Portland cement grout, MP sanded. Um, the finer the grout, the better. I am not familiar with all the different kinds of grouts out there, but what I like about this is that it is, it is flexible uh, and it dries fairly uh, consistently and dries fairly quickly too. So um, you'll have to experiment with the different kinds of grouts out there and find one that works well for you, but this is the one I'm going to be using today. All right, for our example, I'm going to use these old uh, magnetic dungeon tiles that I got back in the 90s. They're plastic, and they have magnets on the bottom, so they're kind of fun, and I've always wanted to kind of do something with these. So this seemed like the perfect opportunity to dig these out. Really, this is the world's easiest technique. You go buy a bag of grout. You uh, either get a, an object like these that are made of plastic, or in my case... I have been printing 3D printed bricks and making sure that there was enough room for the grout and they have been coming out to fairly, oops, get in the light there, decent effect. <clears throat> uh, or you can carve uh, your bricks in uh, foam and that's what I was doing here. I have carved these uh, out just as a test and this is using the traditional um, Technique where you use the rocks and everything to get the texture and you draw them out with a pencil and you cut them with uh, With a exacto knife and then you go back in with a ballpoint pen uh, Actually, I wasn't even that thorough with these. I just wanted something to test with But even with this you can see that there is a really nice effect and there's a little bit of weathering and everything on this here So it does take paint very well so really all there is to this is I'm gonna use this little scoopy thing here uh, I'm gonna get my grout and I'm just going to go and throw it on here. <clears throat> you can be as messy as you want because at this stage, it really doesn't matter. We are going to make quite a bit of a mess here. Um, I'm going to put some on this one too. I haven't, and this is all an experiment. So I'm going to be learning with you as well because I have no idea how these are going to come out. Uh, and that's half the fun with bricks is not knowing. So um, in the case of my brick bricks, I just use a real simple uh, red and then uh, because the material I'm working with is white, I kind of used a, um, a watercolor technique to get a variation in the bricks. So some are lighter and some are darker and they have all kinds of spotchiness to it. And then when I was done with that, I came in with like a pewter gray and uh, did a wash and then I did this to it. And so once we have this on there, this is your best tool for this whole process, this and a soft brush. It's just get in there and literally just start pushing it into the grout lines, in this case, um, that have been manufactured into the piece. Uh, in yours, uh, if you're making something out of foam, just make sure you get it in to <clears throat> your grout lines in the same manner. And then, as I'm doing this, I'm kind of pushing in lightly and literally just scrubbing it in there. Now, right now, it doesn't look like much. But then once I'm happy with the level of grout in the grout lines, you know, now that I feel like it's in there, and I kind of take my finger and I start wiping away the excess. Or access, excess, good grief. So one of the reasons I haven't been making videos in the past few weeks is because I've been attacked by sinuses, and apparently they are keeping me from forming coherent sentences. So you know, now I'm using a, a soft tip brush and just brushing some of that away. Try not to brush too much away because the grout hasn't set into um, the, the lines yet. And so you can very easily blow it away or knock it out with your finger if you're too aggressive or if you're using a brush, you can actually brush some of it off. Now that could be used to good effect if you wanted to get areas where there was missing grout and holes and missing bricks and stuff like that. Once you get this where you're happy with it, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one real quick too. 
because I don't know if that was all on camera or not. I've been too busy looking down. We'll just smear that in there. See if we can get a good looking doorway. And then later, of course, I would come in there and do it on the insides and on the tops and all this. But for this demonstration, this should be good enough to give you guys the idea. And by now you're like, oh, well, that's easy. And you're right, it is. I was very, um, I was almost embarrassed to make this tutorial. I had posted some of my tests out there on the different um, pages that I frequent. And a lot of people were like, I want to see a tutorial on that. And I was like, I really feel like I'm cheating here. Um, whoops, see? See how some of that came out as I, as I slipped? So that's okay. Enough of it stay put. And I'll go ahead and tap some of that out. And of course, I have a bunch down here. So <clears throat> my advice at this point, see I have all this down here, is before we go to the next step, go ahead and get all of this off your work surface because we're going to be adding a water solution in, well, this will stick to your, your board. Now, this little bit here doesn't matter. Okay, so the next step is, uh, is to make up a solution. Uh, in this case, it's just 50% uh, uh, just bottled water. It's not distilled water or anything like that. I just use bottled water because it's convenient. Uh, and I think I did about 50% uh, or uh, 20 to 30% alcohol. And I'm using a 70% alcohol. That's why it's green. I got the wrong bottle. Fortunately, though, this won't tint my paint or anything. And then I add, and you can see the bubbles in there, I've added one drop of dish soap to help break the surface tension. And all I'm going to do with this and let me tap some of this little bit of excess right here off. Is I'm just going to drop very carefully. Um, since these are tilted, I'm going to start up here. And hopefully the water will run down as I just very carefully drop it in. If I do it too high, the drops will hit and displace the grout. So you want to do it relatively close. And you also want to try to do it with this minimum amount of water as you can, uh, just for purposes of, of it drying faster. It has nothing to do with how the grout reacts. Um, if you get too much water, what you can do is you can get a little uh, shop towel or a paper towel or whatever you want to use. Well, that's kind of nice and just daub the excess, which we'll go ahead and do, because I've got a little bit, you know, I feel like I'm, I've got a little bit too much on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little daub right here, I'm gonna go Yes, I do it with sound effects too. We all craft with sound effects, Pretend, don't pretend we don't. How many times have you made battle damage noises when you were tearing up a wall and pretending that, you know, it got shot or destroyed by a spell? Or, or a catapult or something. So don't pretend you don't do the same thing. All right. So, and honestly, that's it. Um, once it dries, I'm gonna set these up here. Um, it's gonna look very similar to this right here. And this one's still in the process of drying. And then when it finishes, it should look something like this. This particular grout dries very, very light colored. And as you saw from this example, you can paint it and add shadowing and stuff to it. These are just untouched uh, raw grout. And that looks good sometimes. I mean, when you get a couple of these walls together, hopefully when they go together on the board, they'll, they'll look really nice and convincing. That's it. That's the whole secret. That's all there really is to it. It's really that simple. Go buy a bag of grout and shove it in the uh, grout lines. Give it some water, let it set, and paint it. Uh, it's embarrassingly simple, but it's highly effective. I mean, nothing looks more like grout than, well, grout. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, yourselves, you were entertained, you got some good information out of this, um, there's... Um, uh, anything that you guys want to add, please, you know, comment below, uh, share this with your friends that might find it interesting. Um, 
give me some feedback. I have a uh, Facebook page called the 28 millimeter uh, build as well. You can comment on there. Uh, you can also find hopefully a link to this video on there. And I love hearing from you guys. I can't do this without you. I have been inspired by people like DM Scotty and Dungeons and Glue Sticks and Wylock and uh, you know Black Magic Craft and the Terrain Tutor. All these people do these amazing crafts and I'm just trying to add my little part uh, to it, but I couldn't do it without them. And we as a community cannot do it without you. Please comment, uh, give suggestions, share, and go visit these other amazing crafters and see what they have to offer that is going to add value to your game and to all your miniature making. Anyway, this is uh, Jeff Perryman for the 28mm build. You guys have an amazing day. Until then, see you next time.